Howdy, John Cameron Sleazy here with another Timex commercial. We've got this man wearing a Timex watch while he's standing on the back of our flatbed with his new super sneakers. That's right, they've been coated with super glue. So how are you doing back there on the back of the flatbed? I'm feeling pretty good back here. The wind's whipping pretty hard there. The hail's hit me in the head. It doesn't hurt too bad though. I'm up from the neck up. But I'll tell you what, these sneakers seem to be holding real well. Let me check my new Timex watch to see how it's doing. Yes, we're using a JB Hunt driver loaned out to us by JB himself. You'll notice this man is suffering from terminal nosebleed. Ah! There, <laughs> there he goes. Well, the blue let go, but hey, the watch is still ticking. That's right, it took a licking, but it's still ticking. Drivers! Truckers! People of all ages! Come on out to the Minneapolis Fairgrounds and TA Truck Stop for the Blizzard Lizard Lot Lizard Blowout! That's right, drivers! We'll have Lot Lizards from all over the country! Horizontal hostesses! Sleeper creepers! And all kinds of other women out there doing their thing and hocking their wares! That's right! If you've wanted it, you've been looking for it, you'll find it this Saturday night at the TA Truck Stops and Fairgrounds in Minneapolis, Minnesota! Be there! And now, answers to the CDL questions, brought to you by Little Brother Trucker. That's right, drivers. Hey, when we come back to the CDL questions, we're going to ask you things like, when backing up to your trailer, what's the proper way to back up to it and pass the CDL test? Is it A, back underneath the trailer completely and hook it up? B, roll the landing gear up, back up to the trailer and back under it. C, back up to the trailer, hook it up and then back under it. Or D, wake up Leroy. Question number two regards lights and illumination on your truck. You may have A, 3,000 lights maximum on your rig, but only two of them have to work. B, two lights on your rig, and only one of them has to work. Or C, any number of lights you want, but they all have to work. Or D, Leroy holding a flashlight, and it has to work. Drivers, when checking your tires for proper inflation, should you A, check your tires with a tire thumper, B, kick the shit out of your tires with the back of your boot, C, look and see if any of them are flat on top, or D, hand the tire gauge to Leroy. Question number four regards the distance allowed between the top of the fifth wheel and the bottom of the trailer during a hookup. How much play should there be? A. Just a smidgen. B. A cunt hair. C. None. Or D. The length of Leroy's Peter. This has been a pubic service announcement brought to you by Truck Stop Comedy. Drivers, would you like to make extra money while you're driving down the road? Yes, try the new Toro Bush Hog to mount on the front of your tractor. That's right, with the Toro Bush Hog, you can drive down the road and trim the trees as you're seeing the countryside. That's right, you can do the job the state was always supposed to do but never had time to do it because her budget was too short. Yes, with the new Toro Bush Hog, you can get rid of all those unwanted limbs and trees around power lines. Hey, don't forget with the new Toro Bush Hog, if one of those little four-wheelers pisses you off, just move over to the hammer lane. That's right, lower the bush hog down on him and rip his top off. Yes, you'll have a ball driving trucks now that you have the new Toro Bush Hog. Toro Bush Hogs available in all truck stops.